obviously this is a, a, a day one of competition. Every athlete has to make weight because the championship tournament and format. Every athlete has to make weight each day they compete. So you'll see everybody who's coming through this door here is an athlete who will be competing today. They will go to one of our four weighing stations with their credential and their identification, their name, their weight category. If they successfully make weight, they're ticked off. Then they will follow through into the pre-fight medical screening. So the athlete comes in with his official paperwork, makes weight, then moves to the next stage, pre-fight medical screening, and if he passes that, they're good to go. Under is very important because the most injuries of the, the fighter is in the hands. In the hands. Um, we protect the metacarp and uh, uh, the, the fingers for punch and uh, for the safety for the fighters. It's a very good job with uh, these guys. So my name is George Salfeld, I'm uh, the Vice President of IMF, also one of the founders. Uh, in every sport there are judges and referees in badminton as well, but what you guys are doing is something exceptional. You're protecting people from harm. It's a very difficult job and it's a very serious task. And I'm very grateful because without you we could not be here. So all of us, we have great respect for your work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Referees, just remember your training, okay? Remember everything you're doing. Don't hesitate, okay? If you think you're making a call, if you're sure in your mind you're gonna do something, do it. Don't take a second step. When you make your call, step in. Be a, you know, don't, just be mindful, that it, it, just be sure in your mind. When you make your call, you make it. If anybody starts complaining, if they start complaining about your stoppage or something didn't ha or something happened you didn't see, said, don't get involved in a in, in in an argument in the cage. Just, just quickly bring them in, get an end to it, and then either come to your cage supervisors working together, or the teams will probably run over to me and, and start complaining. <coughs> we will deal with it together. Okay, it's gonna happen. There's a lot of matches. You referees have got a job to do, obviously, first and foremost, okay? It's about keeping the fighters safe. This is an amateur competition, but the level is high, okay? So, we'll, we will all, I will always have your back if you err on the side of caution. But let the fight play out, okay? It is a contact sport. People do get bumps and bruises and get hurt. But by the same token, remember, this is not a professional contest. If you're sure in your mind these fighters can't get out of a bad spot, make your call. So my name is Paddy Hillahan, a former UFC fighter. Um, I'm here as the Ireland coach, so the uh, IMA. Um, I'm here with Andy Ryan, uh, Liam Og, and Barry Oakesby, which is at home. But we have 30 fighters out here, so we have the biggest, the biggest team here. Um, if one thing the Irish are known for, it, it's fighting. We cannot play football for shit, but we can fight. So uh, it's incredible to be part of, uh, of of sport in a way of of building it, growing it, inspiring it, and, and then being on the other side to be able to kind of manage it and uh, breastfeed it if you must, you know? So uh, so many young guys in there now, and, and they, they say the same things that um, I was saying to myself 10 years ago. It's crazy how, how how close and, and how it doesn't really change. The same kind of nerves, the same kind of worries. And um, now we're, we're here in Italy, as you can see, and they're finding some shade. I, I need the shade or I'll die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, uh, today we've had, um, we had uh, one guy uh, got the win, but he was medically disqualified, Keen T, uh, going forward. Um, uh, Nathan Enroy turned up today to, to fight, but unfortunately his, um, his opponent didn't, didn't pass the medical. I don't really know the, 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 the the ins and outs of it, but so uh, Nate will be fighting tomorrow. Um, it, I think we have we have I think two more guys that went through because there's so much going on. These are the corners that we looked after. So um, mm. I think I think I think it's going well. It's good to see junior lads and and, and look to the other lads as well. So I know a lot of the a lot of the main guys, the main amateurs in the country are, are on tomorrow. Guys like Lee Hammond, um, I think Jerry Harris is Friday if I'm correct, um, and then and we have a newcomer which would be uh, Sean O'Bannon, which would be. 
She's a multiple kickboxing champion in many different disciplines, many different sports. Um, she's been doing it since she's four. She's made the transition to MMA. Um, she's 1-0 in MMA at the moment. Um, she has uh, grappling accolades as well now. So I'm excited to see how she transfers to this scenario because this is very much like a, a, a competition. So it was great to actually get some advice as well to understand because this is very new to MMA, which is which is incredible. Though. It's it's built up with the the most important people, the people that, that really love the game and the people that want to be hands on with the game. So you've got great guys like Mark Goddard in there, one of the one of the referees and the officials, and and not only are fighters have a platform to learn, and um, the the officials have a platform to learn. So they want to they cut men and women and, and referees and, and judges and. So we have a we have a chance to be able to build a huge community again, but build every part of it. Um, I think it's extremely important that the community owns itself and that, that there's not one kind of head figure on it. So we all put chip in and, and, and we all benefit. We all yield if you must. Keep the triangle on and just hit him a few times. You have, you'll win the fight with that. You hear me? And when you get this, when you get standing, combinations and uppercuts, he's bridge with his ass. When you're doing the up kick, foot in the hip, kick him hard. Right? I'm well, telling you now. Okay? We need this one. I'm telling okay? you now. You put everything into this. He is everything you got. He is fucked. fucked. He's absolutely This is the man, this is it. You hear with this fight, this is the fight you want. Attack that triangle as soon as you can, Cooper! Let's create some space here, William! Create some space! Yes! Now wrap up the guard! Wrap up the guard, William! Yeah, you got to shrimp to your right side! Shrimp to your right side! Let's get a hand across the hip here, William! A hand across the hip! Let's use that cage! Let's use that cage! You can sit up against the cage here. Nice work, there you go! There you go, on the air! On the air! Yes! 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 Kick, up kick! Yes! Up kick! Up kick! Yes! Up, up, up! Up! up. He's dead! He's dead on his feet, William! Let's kick! In favour of the red corner from Kazakhstan, Tinsley Very good, very good. Us, come on, I'll be back. Yeah. Uh, he goes straight to medical. Yeah. And then... Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Please. Um, he goes straight to medical, yes. Yeah. Okay. Straight to your hair, is that? Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Best of luck, babe. That's it. Coaches, if you're going to sit here, you got to sit there. Okay? Get sure. lots of space. Keep it, keep it like that. Huh? Keep it like that. Come sit here, please. Come sit here, please.
How are you feeling? What's happening? I feel good. Just last. Um, feel good. Uh, fuck me. I never took so many hits, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Just look forward to coming back again. You know, it's my first, it's my second fight ever. European Championship level. You know what I mean? So you can only imagine where I've been in five fucking years. Definitely. I thank my coach, obviously. Just these breaths, try and find yourself in there. Be in the moment rather than. If you let that adrenaline take you and let that fear take you, you're just gonna regret. It. Yeah? It'll regret. If you're regretting your life, just enjoy the moment and don't let them feelings take over. Because that's that's the worst thing, yeah? Losses are not our losses, but regrets are worse than that. How you, how are you feeling? That's how I want. Inshallah. My brother, don't know me. Look at me. You follow with your eyes. No, 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 I don't know, give it to Did you get cut anywhere? No. Okay. You uh, take this off. You take it off now. Oh, yeah. It's Coach, can you help me? Maybe if yeah, it's can. Do you keep it there? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, super. Your father? Yeah, it's super. It's okay. Okay, you move your hands. Fingers. Okay. Your legs, you move. Okay, everything okay. Everything okay. okay. Oh, do you have a paper for... Uh, yeah, can I? Thanks. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye guys. So, I'm Mark Spence Spencer from Team England. Uh, we represent the United Kingdom, uh, Kingdom of uh, uh, United Kingdom. <laughs> Sorry, I've got one of my fighters on at the moment. Um, we've brought over the second largest team just behind the Irish. Uh, we've got a lot of really great coaches. We've been investing a lot of time. Um, I look after the juniors and cadets. We've got Nigel who looks after the seniors. Joe Doyle looks after the women's. We've got a lot of people who've come over to help out coach as well. You know, it's been the first time and it, it's fantastic to see. Uh, our juniors are doing brilliant, so Josh Kelly um, and Tommy Thompson um, got wins today. Um, we've got a lot of our guys competing tomorrow. I think my guy has just won as well, so I apologise for being a little bit distracted. Um, and yeah, I'm off, keep going, great job. Really appreciate all your hard work and especially putting up with uh, us English folk. Hi, I'm Alyssa Mullins, um, I'm a UK representative um, fighting out of Team Lions uh, in Coventry and Hardy Warhead in Colville. Um, I've come here in Rome to represent the UK, um, selected for a featherweight type, uh, title, a featherweight uh, shot at gold for the European featherweight uh, gold medal. So I think her name pronounced correctly is Veronica Ruiz, or Ruiz from Spain. Um, I found out last night when the draw was uh, announced live on next match, my next match. Um, I know nothing on her because there's nothing to find on her. Um, very ghost person. Um, however, when I go through to the next round, I know I'm fighting a Swedish girl who's got a little bit more on her um, and I'm a bit more prepared for that. Uh, game plan, keep it top secret, but for the UK camera, um, obviously keep it safe. Make sure I'm able to go to the final um, on Sunday and get the goal. But mainly wrestling, which is pretty much what we've been working most rounds at my gym. Um, and if I stayed standing, then knock her out. Um, my name's Chris Easley. I'm the backstage manager. I look after all the backstage, really. Fighters, getting prepped, getting ready, making sure they've got their equipment out and getting out on stage. Jamie is the equipment manager. Prem is on the outside here taking them up to the cage so we all work together there's one team as president of IMAF and Baba it gives me great pleasure to open, officially open the fifth edition of the European Open Championship for seniors and juniors
I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all the presidents, coaches, and all the athletes for attending this year's European Open in the beautiful city of Rome. I wish you all the best for the competition over the next few days and good luck to all national federations. I'd also take the opportunity to thank all our sponsors, take the opportunity to thank the referees, judges, the medical uh, supervision, and also to thank all the volunteers and all the staff for their continued commitment in making this event run smoothly. I'd also like to thank the Italian Federation, Mr. Silvero, for his efforts and support of hosting the European Championships. I'd also like to thank Vito for all his efforts in behind the scenes of making it possible for the European Championships to be held at this beautiful arena. And it gives me great pleasure also to see the commitment that uh, you have all um, contributed to making this event a successful week. A successful week. For me, it's also an honor to have uh, George as the Vice President and one of the founding members of IMF. And also to give uh, um, also his support, Vadim uh, uh, Falkenstein, to his commitment in his support for Obama. Um, so, without further ado, I will hand you over to George for a few words. So, thank you all for attending the opening of the fifth edition of the European Open, European Open Championships. Thank you. I only have a few words to say. Take a look around you. What you see around you are all winners. It's not easy to get here. You have to be selected by your country. You have to be the best in your country. And you're here fighting for medals that will put you in the history books forever. If you get a medal here, your name will be written in stone.